What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum. I am here to show you a binder that I bought this past week. Uh, and it's my understanding, even though they didn't have it labeled as such, it looks like it's all 71 tops. Um, I don't think that like Wilt is in there. I don't think Oscar's in there. But I did still see a few Hall of Fame rookies. So um, I got this for $45 shipped. And they said that there were 200 cards. So, you know, you're looking at, what, like a quarter piece or whatever. Um, so for a lot of the commons I need, I am working on a low-end set. Um, that's a Donruss pack, an old baseball Donruss pack. I'm not going to open that. Um, so for the commons that I need, it's actually pretty cheap. And then I can trade my extras or whatever. I'll probably I'll try to do that in person. Um, so like I said, uh, 45 bucks for this thing. Pretty nice looking binder here. Some of the binders I get are in horrible shape. Um, I want to run through it real quick. Let me get this tape out of the way. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so here's what we have. Nothing on this first page that is of real significance. However, is that Baylor on this page? I keep seeing that Baylor. So that's a uh, pretty nice looking Baylor. You see that pink background there. Um, Spencer Haywood, I believe, is a rookie. I believe 71 is his rookie. So that's a nice card to have, Hall of Famer. We got uh, Nate Archibald, which is a rookie. Although there's looks like there's some water damage at the top, maybe. Or is that just a shadow? I don't know. Unfortunately, water damage, but... So that'll go in my binder. That's fine. That'll go with my low-end set that I'm working on. Works out perfect. Okay. Um, none of these are real big names as far as this set goes, I should say. Although here's a Hall of Famer now. This isn't his rookie, but Hall of Famer. We got, and there's other Hall of Famers in here too, of course. Walt Frazier, Jojo White. Uh, I'm looking mainly for rookies. So, like, some of these guys, like, Wilkins is not a rookie. Um, let's see what else we got. There were, I saw a few others when I looked at, the, actually, I had them, I asked them to send me pictures. Because, um, they didn't show very many in the listing. So, that's always a good strategy. Have them send pictures. A lot of people are willing to if they know that you're possibly an interested buyer. So, here's where the set crosses over. And this is not a complete set, but it, it's quite a few where the set crosses over from NBA to ABA after they go through all the leaders here. So there should be some more um, Hall of Fame rookies in here. There was one specifically, actually two here. So that's a good-looking Zelmo. Actually, the, the centering's pretty good on it, Hall of Famer. Rick Barry. I was hoping the Barry looked pretty good. It's not bad. It's pretty clean. Um, let's see if there's some more in here. It's not going to be a lot more. Uh, here's this. Um, well, here's not a Hall of Famer, but he's been on the show, Bob Nedelicki, so that's pretty cool. Mel Daniels, rookie. That's nice. I think I needed one of those for my set chase that I'm doing. Um, there's a Dan Issel, rookie. Hall of Fame, rookie. I was thinking there's a Roger Brown in here as well. Yes, there we go. Uh, water damage at the top, of course. So <laughs> that will that might replace a lower-end Roger Brown that I have. But um, overall, for $45, um, for the price per card, I can't complain. That's going to help me fill a lot of gaps in my 71 set. So quick video. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like that kind of stuff, I'll try and show more of it as I get it in. I know, you know, people. some people have said they like these kind of videos. So new episodes every Thursday. Thanks for tuning in.